Hello, hello, hello all you beautiful human beings. My name is Reagan and welcome to today's video. So if you haven't read the title, you can probably tell by my crazy purple look. Today is the first update for the 50 Shades of Purple Project Pan. This project was created by Jessica Lee, Amanda D, and CC over on the Panta Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Uh, a little disclaimer, I'm not gonna go over each product today that would take forever so I'm just gonna pick and choose a few that I think have some good progress or I'd like to update you on and just go from there so I think I've got like 17 products here and I'm not sure if you'll see the prog get progress on all of them but hopefully you will I'm gonna start with my candle so there it is all empty but it's not quite done so I took the remaining wax which actually was a lot it stopped right about here so it didn't burn all the way down to the bottom which I know it can't but all that um, so I put it in my wax warmer and this is the product I have left um, I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be done by the next update um, I go through candles pretty quickly so now I'm gonna talk about my perfume, my REM perfume from Ariana Grande. I've used this a few times. Oh, here's some shine. So I'm I'm probably not gonna mark this bottle just because I don't I don't want to ruin it. It's so pretty kind of thing. But I'm over about here, which I don't think you'll be able to see much of a difference from my intro. But hopefully, as we go along, we'll be able to see it go down. Slowly but surely. Next, I'm gonna go over my magnetism hand salve from Witch Baby. Um, I've got quite a dip in this. I don't know if you'll be able to tell with the ring light, but I've got a pretty good size dip in here. Um, I'm really liking this product. I'm gonna put some on now. It smells really good. Um, it can get a little oily, but it just depends how much you kind of apply and put on. So if you put on like the correct amount, it's it's good. Uh, so since we're talking about that witch baby product, better go on to my psychic body butter, which you can see in it now. So I got the kind of top part leveled off here. Um, and you can see through there. So excited. Um, this product I've mainly just been I haven't been using it on my whole body I have another one for that um, but this I've been putting on my feet at night and then putting socks over it as I go to bed which I've really enjoyed uh, the lavender amber scent is perfect for at night you know getting ready to sleep kind of thing it's part of my nightly ritual I really enjoy that Sorry about that, got kind of interrupted there for a second. Um, so this is the lip color I am wearing today. Um, I've worn it a couple of times. It's Berries on Ice by Jeffree Star, um, one of their, I think, holiday collections. Um, it's it's quite intense. I, I plan to use this mainly as an eyeshadow base, which I did not today, and I should have. But I was like, I'm going to wear it as a lipstick kind of thing. Uh, but... I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if I can finish this off. Uh, when I was putting it on my lips, I saw it was really patchy, which I am not a fan of. So we'll see if this even makes it through the pro project. I may have to declutter it, but we'll just have to wait and see. So next I'm going to talk about my mini breaker palette, also from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I hit pan. I don't know if you can see it down here in this bottom shade. Uh, this is the bite me shade. So I kind of dug in there. I was using it on my lower lash line just kind of as a pop of color with my more neutral cool tone looks. But I was really excited when I hit pan. These pans are pretty deep. So not looking forward to doing that. But some other shades I've been focusing on is when I hit pan on this and got like a good substantial amount of pan, I moved on to an oral. And um, as you can see, there's a little line in the middle where I put my liner brush. 
And then I've also been working on, I don't know if you can tell, this shade Hot Fudge. I've been using that in my brows. I don't have anything in my brows today. I'm not a huge fan of product in my brows because I think they, they do fine on their own kind of thing. Um, but for work I do put on my brows. Um, so then I've got a couple more lip products, then we'll move on to nail polish, which I'm, I'm pretty excited about because I, I learned some new stuff. But for this lip crayon from ColourPop in the scent Juicy or Shade Juicy Apple, I am only going to use it, I believe, 25 times. And so far this month, I used it four times. So I'm on my way. I'm getting there. Next month, how much do I plan to use it? Hmm. With masks and any, everything, I still want to use it six times, get to a nice even ten. Next, I'm going to talk about my Fruit Fetish Blueberry Acai Little Lip Balm. And as you can maybe see from the side, it's actually getting kind of thin there. I've been using this a lot. Um, this is my lip balm I put on in the morning as I'm getting ready. Um, and I've really been enjoying it. Now on the other side of the spectrum, uh, there's the e.l.f. Ride or Die Tinted Lip Balm in Cheeky Cherry. Which matches my shirt. Uh, uh, not as good as pro progress as my Milani one. Mainly, I think, because it's tinted. I was putting it on after I showered, which I do at night. But it's just, it's too thick for what I like to wear as I'm going to bed. Um, so, I kind of stopped using this. I'll probably start using it in the morning after I finish off that Milani one. Uh, and hopefully it'll work out better that way for me. So we'll just have to wait and see on this guy. Now for what I, my lip balm I use at night. This is the Burt's Bees Wild Cherry Moisturizing Lip Balm. So, still got a decent amount left, but I feel like with lip balms, like, I'll get it done in that, out of a year, I'll get it done. Um, but now, onto the exciting part, at least, at least to me. I was not expecting to kind of declutter a lot of my nail polishes because that's that was my goal. I just wanted to use them and see if I wanted to keep them or not. But yeah, the two that I am keeping is this Claire's Holographic one in Chromance. I really enjoy this. Uh, it takes a couple coats to get the full opacity. Um, and even then, it's probably better to have a nail polish underneath to really get that effect. It's almost a topper shade, but I really enjoyed it. It's not really showing the purple, really flashing blue here, but I swear, it's purple blue. The other shade that I really enjoyed was this Broadway Nails one in Gorgeous J, a very deep metallic purple. Um, I don't know how old this one is, but I feel like it's pretty old, but I still think it performed really well, and I enjoyed the color a lot. Now for the rest of these, I'm going to declutter. This little nail polish from the Color Workshop smelt absolutely awful, which sucks because I love the shade, this like deep plummy purple, and it's just such a little tiny nail polish. I thought maybe I can power through it, but that scent was just... Oh, it was not good. And then I have this color, LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish in the shade. Well, I don't think this one has a shade. Oh, no, it does. Drama. Uh, as you may be able to tell here, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's got some windowing because it's drying up. It's getting all cracked and goopy and just not worth the trouble really I'm yeah like it's got little spider web things coming out I don't know if you can see that oh there's oh, oh you may be able to see a little spider web there yep 
it's just not worth it. Which really sucked because I used it like a month or two before and it was fine. <sighs> Things go bad, I guess. Nothing much I can do about it. This other LA Colors color craze, this is in the shade Jewel Tone. <sighs> it's also goopy. It's that glitter polish. So it's, yeah, it's not good. So those two, unfortunately, are going to go in the trash. Um, maybe I'll clean them out and try to use them for something else, little paints or something. But I don't know. It's just not really worth the trouble with those. And then I have this Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail color in Wild Card Invitation. I don't know for sure if that's right. Um, and this shade is just not opaque enough. I It would take like three layers, three or four layers to get it somewhat opaque and I just, I don't have the time honestly to deal with that. So, yep, that one's gonna go too. And lastly, I have this other Broadway Nails in Easter Annie and I'm just not a huge fan of this color. It's a bit too light for my skin tone, I believe. And it just, I don't think it looks flattering on me. So I am decluttering five of the seven nail polishes I decided to try out. So, I don't know, I'm pretty happy. I'd rather know these going into it instead of picking it up one day and trying it and really hoping that that's the color I'm going to get and it isn't working out. So that is it for my first update on my Fifty Shades of Purple project pan. I would really love to see your guys' updates as well, so please leave those linked down below in the comments so I can watch and binge watch all of your guys' updates. Um, I really hope to see you in my future updates, and have a wonderful day. Bye!